First, you go to msn.com. Once you are there, you go ahead and type in google.com on the address bar, and it'll take you to Google. And then where it says more, you're going to look for Picasso. You go ahead and go, you can't see it on this one, but you go ahead and go to even more, and it'll bring up all of the Google tools. From here, you look for the Picasso. You can scroll down and then go to Picasso. And you click on it. Once you click, you're going to get another screen where it shows you to try the Picasso. and explains a little bit about it. You, know, you can go ahead and click on Try Picasso. Once you're there, you should get a pop-up window. If you don't, you go ahead and click where it says on top. It says to help protect your computer system. Go ahead and download the file. Go ahead and click Run. Your actual EXE file is going to go ahead and start loading. Just wait for it to load. It'll take some time. Once it loads, you'll get a security warning. And you're going to go ahead and click on Run. Once you click, it'll continue loading. And you're going to get a license agreement. Here, you're going to go ahead and review it. And you're going to go ahead and click I agree. Now, you're going to, it's going to ask you where you want to put it for your destination folder, which is your C drive, and it's going to show you Picasa 2, or you can browse it. But normally, you just go ahead and install it where it shows you. This is actually installing the Picasa. It's ex executing files and extracting them. Once it's complete, uh, it's completing the Picasa 2 setup wizard, you're going to go ahead and check off all the boxes and then go ahead and click finish what happens is the Picasso will actually come out onto your screen once it starts you're going to get something like this where it's going to ask you to download all of the pictures you can actually exit out and here you can import them on the left hand side now here's where you can do photos to the web album you can move them photos to the photo tray by email you can print photos in the photo tray you can buy prints and products from your favorite online provider post photos to your blog via the blogger you can also create a photo collage with your selection of photos and you can export them or copy photos to a certain area wherever you want on your computer or your desktop Go ahead and go to the exit and exit out of the program. And that concludes the Picasso tutorial. Thank you.